Hello everyone, Peter Finch here, and let's have a look in this video at three common mistakes that golfers make whilst on the golf course. Now, late last year, I was fortunate enough to go down to Thorpe Ness, which is on the Suffolk coast. It's a beautiful part of the world. And whilst there, I teamed up with the Jazzy Golfer. Now, Jasmine is a relatively new golfer, and what it allowed us to do is to get onto the golf course and actually see what mistakes she was making with her course management. But what I also wanted to do was introduce to you guys a few ideas about how you should be thinking around the golf course, some techniques which you maybe should or shouldn't be trying, some of the other common mistakes that you will find yourself doing whilst on the golf course. Now, the first thing we're gonna look at is shot selection. This is something I saw with Jazzy, but also with so many golfers who I coach, is when they get on the golf course, they see a shot that they wanna play, but then they don't ask themselves if they've actually practiced that shot. So there'll be a tight pin behind the bunker and they'll be like, well, I wanna play a flop shot. Or it's a massive drawing drive. You get my picture, long iron off a tight lie over water. Now, I'm gonna be the first one to say that golf is about fun. It's about trying these shots. However, if you've not tried them in practice before you get onto the golf course, the chances of success are very low. Doubt and fear are the golfer's worst enemy. And if you're stood over a shot, not really knowing how it's gonna turn out because you've not practiced it, the chances are it's not gonna work as a good shot. And I saw that down at Thorpe Nest quite a lot with Jazzy. She was looking at shots and I've asked her, you know, have you practiced it? Have you tried this type of technique? And the answer was usually no. And again, there's nothing wrong with trying new shots. However, if you've got the potential of hitting a shot which you don't know how to play, and that ending up in more trouble, whereas hitting a safer shot might be more sensible, then please take that safer route, especially when you're in competition. Hmm. Really low or really high? <laughs> Yeah, um, this is a bit of a tricky one because if you do go low, you obviously got to get through the, yeah. the thick rough. And not thin it. And not thin it. <laughs> um, I think the, the high one, especially off that lie with that grass kind of lying into the back of it, it's probably not going to be the safer play. I will go low. At the end of the day, you are here for three shots. Yeah. It's on a par five. Bumper run seven. Bumper run seven. If that's what you're feeling comfortable with. I think I so. so. Yeah, I reckon I can do that as long as I don't get it too high. Great shot, great shot. Yeah, I'll take that. Now we talked it through and we made the safer play. So to hit that lower shot, which went past the pin, but it still finished on the green. And then after a really good two put, we still ended up with a good score. Now if we'd have gone the aerial route, things could have gone wrong because it's not a shot that she practiced. Now, the second thing that we're gonna look at is frustration. Now, if you are a golfer watching this or you're a new golfer trying to get into the game, there is one thing that I will guarantee is that this game at times will frustrate you. But what you need to do is you need to remember that if you allow yourself to get frustrated, if you allow yourself to get angry, the chances are that is not gonna help you further on down the line. Now, this is something that we spoke about at length with Jazzy because she's so passionate. She wants to improve and wants everything to work straight away. But the fact is golf, it doesn't work like that. Golf is a game which will take away as much as it gives. That's why it's a fantastic game. That's why we keep going back to play. Yes, there's terrible shots. Yes, there's awful moments, but there's always something that draws you back. There's always that great shot. There's always that great put that pulls you back in. And if you can go along with the mentality of when you hit a bad shot, you enclose it within that moment and you move on. You let it go straight away before you get to your next shot, as long as it's moved far enough away from you. But this is one of the hardest things to do, and this is why it's one of the most common mistakes. To hit a bad shot, to throw your club down, to get frustrated, to still be angry about that shot by the time you get to the next shot that you have to play. And I have to say, Thorpe Ness was a great course to actually practice your course management round because it's tight, it's tricky, it gives you chances, you know where the danger is. It's such a great track. If you've not been down there before, I do recommend, please try it out. Pretty secluded out there as well on the Suffolk coast. I've never actually, on a tangent here, I've never actually been around there before until last year. And it's the type of place that I could see myself, I'm not gonna say living just yet, but I could see myself there in the long term. Now, the third thing we're gonna look at here is an interaction that me and Jazzy had in the bunker. Bunkers are one of the hardest things for amateurs to get their head around because you don't hit the ball, you hit the sand. So that's your target. Yeah. Line there, I'm sorry. How's it line there? <laughs> that's your stance. Like that. And that is ball position, okay? Now, this is gonna blow your mind a little bit. When you start to open up your stance, ball position moves further back. Yeah. So you're gonna have to shuffle your feet backwards. This way, sorry. There we go. So that ball position there is for the centre. Yeah. Loosen that grip a little bit. So that's opening the club face there. Yeah. Now swing up a little bit steeper in that back swing. Yeah. 
and you're hitting the sand as hard as you can on the way well, through. At the line that you've made? At the line. You've got to be aggressive. <laughs> I'll take that. So guys, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to watching. Big thank you to Thorpe Nest for having myself and Jasmine down. If you do want to check it out, the link is in the description below. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and please follow me on my other social media, which is all linked in the description below. So guys, thanks for watching once more, and we'll see you soon.